Welcome to part three of a rock, paper, scissors, apple watch app. And in this part, we're going to use the data for who wins or loses and use that for our results screen. So without further ado, let's get started. So, uh, so now before we uh, do the extra code needed, we actually have to go here and we're going to create a new file. So just double click on the folder, click new file. I'm going to do Coco Touch class. Um, watch kit class in watchOS. Yep. And this is going to be a subclass of MK interface by WK interface controller. Uh, and there we go, and I'm going to call this the results interface controller. I'm going to click next and click create. Here it is, I'm going to just drag it up here. And I'm going to actually uh, hook, I'm going to hook up the this result controller and, and give its class the it was a result interface controller. So now let's just hook up some uh, some interface controllers. I'm gonna get rid of will activate and did deactivate, and I'm gonna leave awake because we're gonna do some stuff there. And first of all, let me drag this in here. Oops, this outlet. So it's the um, the player choice I'm actually I'm gonna set this to player choice label make sure if it's player I'm, okay, I'm gonna disconnect this and you just uh, right click on the on your selected label to disconnect it so so now we're get, I'm just gonna reconnect it because I uh, because I set its name to be wrong um let me just wait. Uh, ah, here we go. It goes the other way. So, so just control drag and um, select the outlet. And this one's going to be the CPU choice label. So CPU choice label. And this is going to be the result label. So you win, you lose, or no, you win. Apple Watch win, or Apple Watch wins or, you know, tie. So this is going to be result label. Now, we're going to go back to this later. Uh, but for now, we're going to do the segue. Okay. So now we're in the uh, interface controller, and here in send data, we're going to uh, do the segue, and we're going to perform that. So first of all, um, when we do the segue, we have to send in the data, so you know, so the result can the result interface controller can use that data uh, and apply it to the label. So. So first of all, I'm just going to go um, let con let data equal to, and we're going to do a dictionary. So the first one will be uh, a player's choice. And by the way, a play uh, a dictionary is is basically it's like an array. Uh, which basically holds multiple objects. This holds multiple objects, but it has a key and a value. So this is the key, and it's and here's the value, and it's separated by a colon. So you can access it by you know going to the data and then just like do data uh, two square colons and player choice, and that's how you access it. And that's and that is a form of our data that we're going to send over to the result control the result interface controller. So we're going to also do the CPU choice, and that's going to be CPU choice. Now you can name the key the key 
here. You can name it anything. I'm just going to name it as as what it is. So result, and that's going to be a result. And I just like to do double space like that. Okay, so once we've got that data, we're going to um, we're going to do a segue. Yeah, so we're going to go over here, and it's going to uh, be push controller with name. Well, the name is going to be um, results because that's the that's the identifier that we gave, and the context is basically the data we're going to send, and we're going to do data. And uh, let's just make sure that we got the uh, the naming correct. It's yeah, result. Okay, so let's go to result interface controller where where we can actually retrieve our our data. So now we just have to do a guardlet so we can uh, safely unwrap our context. So guardlet data, and that's going to be the context. Um, and that's going to else return. And we're going to, uh, actually I'm going to call this unwrapped context. And we're going to get the data, which is let, um, well actually we're going to do a guard let again, which is uh, guard let. Actually, nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to do guard let unwrapped context. Uh, we're going to rename this as data again. So context as a dictionary uh, string string. So it's going to be a dictionary with uh, with string as a key and string as value. And now since so now we're going to use that data and give it to the labels. So now when you change uh, labels text is, is, is usually going to uh, be like you know uh, label dot text text equals to like uh, some text but this time it's not going to be that so play choice label and we do dot set text and and so that text is uh, going to be the data and we're going to, and we're going to access it as player choice. Uh, and the CPU choice label dot set text is data and CPU choice. And the result label dot set text is going to be data and result. So let's go to interface controller. Uh, yeah, player choice, CPU choice, result. So the names are correct. Okay. Uh, now we have that data, but we're actually forgetting one more thing. It's the background for the result. So, so let's just go over here, and I'm gonna go to manual, rock paper scissors. I'm gonna go to interface dot storyboard. So, okay, and so to hook it up, well, we're just going to go to this. Um, if I can actually access it. So let me just bring up the hierarchy. Yep, here it is. I'm gonna. Just insert it here, and it's going to be the BG group. So now let's let's go back, and we're going to do if um if if the data's result is is equal to you win, which is when you win, then then the BG group dot set background image and that's going to be win this, and so else if the data dot uh, wait the data's result result is equal to apple watch win 
So I'm going to go here to Apple Watch. Uh, and then let's win. And else, uh, we're going to do that later. So BG group dot set background image equals to lose BG group dot set background image, and that's going to be tie. So, well, I mean, this that's that's all that we have to do for now. Uh, actually, I, I think that's that's basically it. So, I'm just making sure. Oh, wins wins. So Apple Watch wins. Okay. Yeah, so I can just save this and I can run it. Okay, so now we have the Apple Watch app up here. And so I'm just going to choose one. And it works. Um, well, I wasn't able to win, but still it works. So, I mean, you can go through all this and, you know, um, you can try to win. I think I won once. Ah, uh, here we go. And you can even tie. Yeah, there we go. Tie. So, yeah, that's that's the that's the app. So, yeah. Thank you. For more, visit my website www.madebyuma.com and I hope you enjoyed this video and also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And so Enjoy!